Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this. A cool face morph. Stick around and I'll show you how. Now that was kind of a fun example I showed, and if you also noticed, um, my voice was synced up with Aaron's um, voice. A cool face morph. Stick around and I'll show you how. And uh, that's really easy to do and if you stick around through the video uh, at the end of this I'll show you how I did that using Adobe Audition. Now before you get started you're gonna need some footage to do this of course. Now some key things to remember are you want this to be on a solid color background. So black, white, or green if you're gonna comp it into something else. And the reason you do that be is because when we morph and move things around if you have you know a pattern to the background or if you're outside and there's trees or something moving it's not gonna line up right so you want a solid background so I have here just a new composition I called it morph it's 10 seconds long let's bring in my footage and I'm just gonna select this layer hit LL and it takes me to the, the waveform and I can see easily um, where you know where I start talking and so I start talking right here you can see that's where I start so I'm going to hit option or alt on the keyboard and the left bracket and if I move to the beginning of the timeline I just hit the left bracket without hitting option or alt and it brings me there and so this is me talking in the beginning hey this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this and then I'm going to shake my head okay and I'm just going to cut it there. Now I need to bring in the other piece of video. So let me just drag and drop this right on top and let me scroll through. We were talking a little bit. Okay. Now, now that I've got my two pieces of footage, I need to find the best place to merge these together. And so we've got a similar movement going on. So if I, uh, you know, left, right, left, and I think this is where I'm going to start to transition over to the other piece of video. So I'm going to just bring this right here so I know that's where I want to transition. So the head is pointing down to the right. So I need to find maybe right there. And now after you kind of got it how you want it lined up, the next step. So first um, was just getting the the footage in here. Next, I want to take this top layer. I'm going to hit T on the keyboard. It brings up my opacity. I'm going to bring that to 50%. And then I'm going to just kind of go through to make sure things are somewhat lined up. And it looks like I'm a frame off. And so I'm just hitting the page up and page down on the keyboard. And this brings me frame by frame. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. The, the movement left to right seems to be pretty spot on. So next I want to do is I'm going to take this top layer which is the one of Aaron and I'm going to scale it up. So I'm just grabbing the the bounding box and I'm holding down shift because if I don't hold down shift it does this. Right but if I hold down shift then it keeps it the right proportions. And then I'm just going to move it so it's about in the right spot. Next after I've got this I want to keyframe I'm just going to keyframe everything because I don't know if I'm going to change the scale or position or rotation. Most likely not, um, but you never know. So I'm going to go through and find a good spot to end the transition. I'm thinking right there it will be a great spot to end. So I'm going to bring just this clip over to the end right there, the bottom one, so I know that's the ending. And do I need to move this, adjust it any you know what, I think it's about good right there. I might want to go in and maybe negative one is all. I just want to make this kind of line up the best I can. Now here's how you start the morph. I'm going to select this top layer, go up to Effect, Distort, Liquify. And then before I move anything, I'm going to keyframe all the keyframables. Then I'm going to go to the beginning of the transition select the bottom layer which is the original layer and then we go and hit liquify again and then we keyframe these at the beginning. So if we look into our keyframes you'll see that the liquify, the top layer, 
it's set at the end, those are the keyframes. The bottom layer is set at the beginning. And the reason why you do that is because at the end, I don't want anything to be distorted. And so I've set the keyframes to how it is naturally. And at the beginning of this one, I want this to look natural, so I don't want anything to be distorted. So the next part of this transition is to use the liquify effect to kind of align everything together. And you see really quickly how this works. So I'm going to go to the very beginning. I'm going to select my top layer because that's where I want to do the adjusting because you can see the keyframes are at the end. I'm going to go into my warp tool options. Let's make the brush size a little bit better, bigger, maybe higher um, brush pressure. And I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to kind of move things around and line things up. And I'm going to do the best I can to make things kind of match. I'm going to fast forward through this part while I finish lining things up. Okay, now that I've, I've got the first and the end of the transition lined up, I want to go into this top layer, hit T again, and sort of bring up my opacity. And at the end of the transition, I want the opacity to be to 100%. And at the beginning of the transition, I want it to be at 0%. So as I go through this frame by frame, it's going to slowly transition from one to the other. And because I have the liquify filter, it's kind of morphing it at the same time. Now, it's not going to be perfect just with the two things. So what I need to do now is I need to go you know, frame by frame and say, oh, right there, I need to work on this. You can see kind of double lines or over here. I, right there you can see it. And so what I like to do is I find the center and anything to the left of the center, I'm going to use the liquify filter on this top layer. Anything to the right, I'm going to use the liquify on the bottom layer. So let's start towards the beginning. And right there I can see a little bit of double exposure kind of thing going in the cheek. And the key is to just line everything up the best you can. So the hard lines of the shoulder, um, the face, the outline, you want everything to kind of line up as it's fading from one to the other. So I'm going to come in here and just reline that up. The ears aren't quite in the right spot. Okay, that's looking pretty good. There's a little bit going on right here with the shoulders. Let's just line everything up the best we can. So let's go forward. One more frame. This thing's uh, getting a little bit crazy here, so let's let's line things up. Line up the hair. Key things you're going to want to have lined up are going to be the places with high contrast. And we've got the mouth kind of in a weird spot up there. So let's bring that down. So I'm going to go through um, frame by frame and make sure everything's lined up. I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to hear me talking the entire time. Okay, well I've got all the little things um, done, and let's kind of preview through this. So there's some really cool kind of stuff going on here, and if I spend more time, I can come in here, and there's lots, um, you know, I could uh, right around there, uh, the eyes are a little bit weird, and but when it's moving like this, you really hardly notice those kind of things. And so when you're looking for footage or creating your footage for this, a couple of things to keep in mind. If you're moving fast, it's going to be easier to, to mesh these things together because of the motion blur. Um, a good t place to make the transition is during movement. So if you have the same clip, you know, the same movement in both clips, it's going to create kind of an easier way to make that transition. If I was moving and Aaron wasn't, then that would be really, really hard to transition from that to that. So that's one thing to consider. Next thing is, again, like I said at the beginning, is make sure you have a solid background. If I had a pattern on this background, as I was moving things around and using the liquify effect, then everything would just be crazy. And they wouldn't mesh up very well at all. So that's the morph effect. Now, if you've stuck around this long to see how I did the sync up of the voice, let me just show you really quick my project over in Adobe Audition. What I have here is two pieces of audio. This is Aaron originally talking. A cool face morph. Stick around and I'll show you how. And then the second piece is me speaking. 
a cool face morph. Stick around and I'll show you how. But it's just me. I tried to mimic it as best I could. Now what you do is after you have... So this is the original one that I know syncs up with Aaron's voice because it was directly recorded from it. And this is the one that I tried to mimic, but it's not exactly the same. Now I can take these, highlight them both, right click, come down to automatic speech alignment, and then I just need to make sure that the reference clip is the is the clip that is the original, the one with Aaron's voice, not my new one. And then I, I can come in here, I can change to balanced alignment and stretching, smoothest stretching, um, tightest alignment. I want this to be the tightest alignment because I'm trying to match it up with the video. Click OK, and then it'll go through, and it will make a new, right here it says Untitled 2 Aligned, and so and then I can take this audio, I just export it out of Audition, and then bring that into Premiere or After Effects, and it should line up just fine. So that's how you do it. You just bring in your two audio clips into Audition, the original one that you want to mimic, and then the one that you've recorded to mimic the original one. Highlight them both, and then align the audio. So if you remember you saw that, it was automatic speech alignment. Pretty cool little feature available in Adobe Audition. Thank you so much for watching. Please, 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 if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below and I can get to them. So if this is kind of a little bit of a tricky one, but really what it comes down to is just a lot of elbow grease to go in and make sure that the liquify filter is working for you and making that mesh from one face to the other. So I hope you enjoyed this morph video and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.